Welcome back. We are talking about the difference quotient. The difference quotient works with functions and it is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now if you follow these three simple instructions, these three simple steps, you should be able to find the difference quotient without too much of a hassle. There might be some algebraic things you need to clean up, but for the most part it should be fairly straightforward. So the first thing you want to do is find f of x plus h and simplify it. All you need to do is substitute x plus h into the original function wherever there's x. Step number two, using your answer from number one, subtract off your original function. That's finding f of x plus h minus f of x and simplifying. Step number three, you take your answer from step number two, put it over h and simplify. At this point, you're actually finding f of x plus h minus f of x that you got from number two and putting it over h. So, let's take a look at one. Let's take a look at f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. So here's my function. Step number one, I'm going to take and find f of x plus h. All this means is wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it with x plus h. So I have 2 x plus h minus 3. Simplifying this, I'm going to multiply that 2 through. So I have 2x plus 2h minus 3. Let's do step number 2. Step number 2 is we are going to take f of x minus h or x plus h, excuse me, x, f of x plus h, and we're going to subtract off our original function. Let me erase that. So, this is equal to my answer from number 1, which is 2x plus 2h minus 3. I'm going to subtract off my original function. Don't forget to put the brackets there so you remember to pull that negative through. 2x minus 3. Simplifying this, I have a 2x right here that cancels with that negative 2x, so those go away. 2h is still there. I have a negative 3 and I have a minus a negative 3, so that becomes a positive 3, so that becomes 0. So there it is for number 2. It's just 2h. Step number 3, I'm going to take my answer from number 2 and put it over h. And that is finding f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, which is 2h over h. h is cancel, and I just get 2. Let's try a little more difficult one. Let's try with f of x is equal to x squared minus x plus 3. Same steps. Step number one. Find f of x plus h. So wherever I see x, I'm going to substitute into x plus h. So I have x plus h squared minus x plus h plus 3. The first term is a perfect square trinomial, so we multiply that out and we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Multiply that negative through, so I get a negative x minus h. And we have plus 3. Unfortunately, there is nothing I can simplify there. So I'm going to go on to step number 2, which is finding f of x plus h 
minus f of x, which is the same thing as, taking my answer from number 2, which is x squared, plus 2xh, plus h squared, minus x, minus h, plus 3. That's just my answer from number 1. Subtracting off my original function, which is x squared, minus x, plus 3. Simplifying, this x squared will cancel with this x squared. So those will go away. I still have the 2xh. There's nothing that's going to cancel or simplify with that. Same thing with the h squared. This negative x and then a negative negative x means that these two will cancel. Minus h. And I have a 3 minus a positive 3, so it becomes 0, and so the 3's cancel out. And I am left with 2xh plus h squared minus h. Step number three is I just put this all over the h, which is the same thing as saying at this point f of x plus h minus f of x, that's my answer from number two, all over h. So my answer from number 2 is 2x h plus h squared minus h all over 2. So now I realize that on my numerator h's are common, so I'm going to pull an h out, giving me 2x plus h minus 1 all over h. My h is now cancel, and I am left with 2x plus h minus 1. And there's a difference quotient.